the next question <coughs> the ratio of the sum of all terms to that of the odd terms of a gp uh, of an even number so let's say that gp is a a r a r square and so on up to a r to the power of n minus 1 so sum of these is uh, this is the total series if i take only the odd terms i'll have a a r square a r power 4 and so on now remember there are totally even number of terms which means the last term will be an odd term the last term will be uh, an odd sorry the last term will be an even term the last term will be an even term so i want the odd terms it will be the last before term a r power n minus 2 because if there are six terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 the last is always even if there are eight terms again eighth is the last term so that is the eventh term so odd term will be the term before that so a r power n minus 2 now remember this will still have n by 2 terms because exactly half of them will be even exactly half of them will be odd now the ratio of these two so the first one sn the total sum is a into 1 minus r power n by 1 minus r divided by s odd is again the first term here is a into 1 minus now common ratio however is r square but number of terms are n by 2 by 1 minus r square so a gets cancelled 2 and 2 gets cancelled so you will which means 1 minus r power n and 1 minus r power n will also get cancelled so you will get this as 1 minus r square by 1 minus r which makes it 1 minus r into 1 plus r by 1 minus r now, uh, here there are two possibilities, r can be equal to 1 or r is not equal to 1. So if r is equal to 1, uh, you will have the ratio of the 15th term and 12th term to be the same, right? which means none of these options will matter because if r is 1, all terms are the same. So that is not the case, so you can cancel this out, so r is not equal to 1. So then you are basically saying that 1 plus r, the ratio is 8 by 1 or r equal to 7. If r is equal to 7, then the 15th term is a r power 14 by 12th term is a r power 11. So this will become r cube. r cube is 7 cube which is 343 option.